your box with Eda Middleman and Simona Catalano. Hello. Hello. I'm joining my BFF in a glass of wine for today's episode. Goodness. Probably going to have three by the time this is done, but rock on. So how are you? I missed you. We, we haven't FaceTimed in a while, guys, so we're going to do a catch-up sesh. We have been so committed to your blog that we've been FaceTiming every single day, multiple times a day, which no complaints. Love it. Yeah, no complaints. And then we took like, was it two or three days off? Yeah. And it felt like it'd been three weeks. I wasn't, it was really, it was bad for me. <laughs> I was having withdrawals too. I know. I was like, this is, I was like, I should probably give her her space, but like also I don't want to. Best friends don't give each other space. Based off of this episode's title, you probably already know kind of where we're going with this. And we're going to teach you yeah. guys or give you guys some insight on filtering out what we call the fake. For guys and girls, all our episodes are targeted to both men and women. If you really listen closely and pay attention, you can get something out of this, okay? So for my guys, we're gonna kind of direct it at you, but girls, take notes. I think that this is especially important, just in general for girls, learning how a guy is analyzing your page. I'd like Eden said, pay attention because we're gonna go through the things that we're telling them to watch out for, which are also things you should be mindful of while using your Instagram. <laughs> oh, 100%, okay? If you're gonna have Instagram, you better know how to freaking use it properly, that's all. And by the way, my mom told me to start using the word freaking instead of fucking, so I'm gonna do my best. It's not oh, okay. true to myself, but we're gonna try. We we're go. gonna try, I love that. Effort is everything. Two minutes later, fuck this shit. <laughs> like, I can't fucking do this. I need to swear. So it. let's get into it. What are some things that we need to essentially rule out or look at? Okay. Well, is her account private or public? That's a good yes. question, right? We got to look at that. That's the most obvious one. Um, like, what is the importance of this? This is how I look at it and how I think most guys look at it. I've spoken to a few and got their opinions on this. And when a girl is private they feel kind of good about it. They're kind of like, okay, okay. She's not doing this for the gram. She's not dedicating her life to be this public figure. She likes to keep her shit private. And if she has to accept my request, I'm worthy enough to enter that. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, like, that is a that. good point. Yeah. Whereas public, anybody can see it. You know, her DMs are being filled with randoms from all over the place. You know, she wants to flaunt. She's doing everything intentionally because she, she is public. Right? Her bio is yeah. so important. What is in there? Even if she's public, like I won't even scan through someone's fucking feed if they're public and their bio says just for fun or like personal blog or like, oh my God, like church on Sundays. Like what? Stop it. Like, it's just so unoriginal. So bio tips are be creative, be organic, say something interesting, like make me feel like you have something to say that is not super generic and that you're not just trying to be like the rest of the influencers and like super perfect. Like be weird, get weird. That is such a good point. The bio is so pivotal because this is your time to tell me or whoever or a guy, obviously, about you. Just like a little. Something, anything, anything. So capture me. Like it's really the hook. Or like we've done journalism school. So like we, we know all about this stuff. Like you got to hook me. If your bio is like at like some next person and like something lame, I'm just not even interested. That's why mine for the longest time said that I was Kris Jenner's manager. Love Hello. that. Hello. Love that. Originality. Yes. Let's get spicy with it. Like stir it up. Like intrigue me. Leave something to the imagination. Okay. Really? Get me hooked. And then we can dive deep and figure it out, okay? Just like relax. So if they are open, what are some other tips we can give them to look for or look at? Well, I think like a, even if they're private and you have access to it, like following list, okay? Um, okay. Following list is kind of important and people don't look at this. And we spoke about that last episode too. When you look at someone's following list, it essentially gives you more insight as to what they're about, what they're interested in and what they're looking at when they're alone on the toilet in the middle of the night. Do you know We're what I'm doing that? Yeah. A morning poop and a scroll. Like you're lying if you say <laughs> you don't do that. So the following list is important. Follow words, okay? Um, less is more. This is what means Simona have, I think we've changed our opinions on this as we've gotten older. Yeah. You know, if you're chasing the numbers, chasing the followers, chasing that, 
it, like that already says a lot about you. You're kind of doing this to please others, to stunt, to show. That's the same thing that we spoke about with guys too. You know, I would say comments. Comments are extremely important. You can actually see the interactions between her friends, what they're saying, how many guys. Whatever. Exactly. Who are her friends tagging in her photos? When my account was open, you know, when I had like a gazillion and one like friends and I was like a super social butterfly. Mm -hmm. If I posted a photo from the night before and I went out with a group of guys and my group of girls, someone would take like the guy I was talking to or like whatever. And you can just filter through those interactions. Girls are still doing this um, because they're just not aware of exactly how many people are following and watching them and seeing right. those interactions. Yeah. So is she commenting back to the interactions? Is she tagging other people? Is she just liking? Like, where's she at? And this actually gives you more insight into her life, just as the followers or following list does as well, without her being obvious. She might not even realize that she's literally giving you insight or her friends are doing it for her. Next, what is she posting? How often is she posting? And then what are the captions? It depends on what you're posting, first of all. Okay, if it's selfies, um, if it's Photoshop central, if the fo selfie ratio to like the lifestyle ratio, whatever you want to call those pictures where her face isn't like the primary thing you're looking at. Right. Um, that can kind of say a lot about her too, where she feels like she needs validation by constantly posting her face. Um, she's obsessed with herself, maybe, who knows? Like, you can take whatever you want from that. These are your large right. assumptions, but this is what you are doing and this is what we are taking. Um, so that's just how Instagram works, okay? Um, I also think that you have to be mindful about, like you said, the captions too, because even if you are posting a selfie, and let's say you're not posting as often, so it doesn't seem like you're trying to do everything for the gram and your life is about the gram, right. um, the captions is such an important place for you to really show your personality or change that serious selfie into something funny or something with personality. The way you're going to let your followers or anybody that's coming to your page know a little bit more about you is through your captions. Like, are your captions funny? Like, are you making me laugh? Are you giving me valuable information? Are you just fucking posting like slow morning, like organic detox tea, like chill night alone, like hashtag vibes, like what? If a girl's taking a selfie, like, don't pretend like, oh my god, my tits are accidentally slipping into the frame. Bitch, you know what you're <laughs> doing. <my> throat. <laughs> Suffocating yourself. Listen, look at the selfie, ask questions, like, do girls really look like that? Where are her pores? Is it, like, crystal right. clear? Like, what's going on with that? And it's pretty easy to know if somebody has filters on especially if you're a girl yes maybe if you're a guy like no i don't know but dude like come on you see enough girls like you know whether there's a filter on there or not you know what drives me insane so i spoke to one of my guy friends before and he was like obsessing over this girl on instagram okay he was like oh my god i've never seen such a perfect beautiful human being ever i'm like let me see you know what okay. i mean like let me see come here who is she um, yeah who is she like i want to stalk her i don't want to say who it was but she is, um, a, could you imagine? I'm just ratting you out, Cornelia. One day I will. She's an influencer, okay? Um, and she does something recreationally that kind of like provides her with a sense of talent, but like low key, she has nothing going for her. But DJ, so, DJ, is she a DJ? She's a DJ. No, I know who you're talking about. <laughs> and so he was going on and on about how beautiful she is and how like she's so natural. I'm like, are you kidding? When I saw this photo, I was like, I know what filter she's using and I know how many she's using and I know what app she is using for this. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because girls edit in an app, different apps, and then upload those to filters. I mean, to Instagram where they put more filters on that photo. Girl, it's like layers and layers and layers of fake. And I've done that to my pictures. Go look at my pictures. I don't have a personal account anymore. But even my like public account for my business, definitely threw some filters on there. But there is a level, a degree. Tip for you ladies, the best filter, if you want to like put a filter that's just going to make you look like an airbrushed little queen, uh, which you are, is the Paris filter. So like upload to your story, swipe left. I'm not good with left and right. Swipe left, first filter, Paris filter, organic, natural, clean, crisp, beautiful. Don't fucking touch it after that. Save it and then upload it. It. it's the easiest one it's the cleanest one um and the majority of girls are like starting with that because it gives them that airbrushed clean crisp look that you obviously want for your skin brings it to life but then they're adding 
on top of that. And it's like, ooh. If you think she's natural, she's probably not because Instagram, nobody is. Everyone's throwing a filter. Right. Nobody posts anything raw anymore. So keep in mind that that could be a form of catfishing, which is such a red flag when it comes to looking at girls and sifting through them on Instagram, whether you met them right. before or not. Like you can kind of gauge, right? You need to figure out how does she actually look like? Am I going to show up to date and she's going to be like total office? I'm not going to recognize her. You know what I mean? I think that not a lot of us are doing that or being super mindful of that uh, because you get caught up in Instagram and that world and that perfection and looking a certain way and just, you know, switching from like your regular camera to like your portrait mode. I'm like, wh why do I think I'm Bella Hadid right now? Like this is <laughs> way too good of a quality. Like what am I doing? You don't it, want to make it seem like no. you're trying too hard. You know what I mean? Like, I think yeah, that's like so in, in real life, I like don't try hard at, I don't even try, honestly. I'm like, we'll go out and I'll be like, Eden, like we need to get a photo. You literally have four minutes. And if you can't pull it together, then it's over for me. And I'm not that, pulling it. I'm not <laughs> pulling it together in four minutes. This girl can, I'm not. I'm like, you know what? Like, no, this is not happening. I think that filters should be enhancing features and not making you look like your eyes are massive and you have these like huge lips and this gorgeous like skin tone like yeah like this you i know? mean we all want to be hella hadid like i get it guys i get it so i think that there's something else that simona i feel like you can talk best on this is so genius okay simona take it away we all know that you have your basic Instagram feed. We went through your followers and all that stuff, but what you should be looking at, whether you're following her, she's open, private, public, whatever the case may be, you need to go to her tagged photos. Mm -hmm. um, guys that I've been speaking to and talking to, I've found so much information through this tagged photos page because a a lot of people don't pay attention to it if you haven't been paying attention to it then you just kind of leave it there and you think that people forget about it it's like no that is your holy grail especially as a girl because if we're going out hello obviously i'm with my bitches like i need to tag all the bitches if girls go out they always do this because you know we like our photos even if she doesn't have something from the night before or last week or whenever she went out her friends definitely do on their instagram and they've definitely uploaded a picture and they've tagged her so just go to her tag sift through there and that'll bring you to a her close friends and followers and then from there you can kind of see what they're about and what pictures they have of her and like if there's a story up which we go crazy on stories. There's definitely a story up and something transpired that night could have transpired. This is where you're going to find everything out. A lot of people either don't know how to remove the tag. Don't think it matters. Um, think that nobody's even paying attention to it. Like we are paying attention and getting all of the information. I'm like, Oh, who are these people reposting him? Oh, that's interesting. Oh, we have girls here. That was, Thought it was a boys' night, so that's fun. This okay. is where you get the other dimensions. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah. not everything is what it appears to be. Be careful and always question what you were looking at. Like, investigate. You know, I mean, this is your time to shine. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Take a step back, analyze all of those things. If the person that's looking at your Instagram is obviously investigating and looking into this and like knows these tricks, which some people do. Um, and if not, we're now exposing you <laughs> and vice versa. We're holding each other accountable in providing like not being so fake and not being so perfect. Like throw right. something on there. That's like a little bit different. Like don't pretend to be somebody that's one dimensional or somebody that honestly, you're simply probably not. Yeah. Here. Just don't get caught up in being super, super perfect. Um, I think get caught up in being super, super real. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's what we need. I love that. Okay. That's what we need. We have some really cool tips on how to find the cool girl on Instagram. Once you've obviously filtered through all of those red flags, these are things that you are going to want to look for. So Eden, can you start us off with your, my favorite, honestly, <laughs> my, my favorite hands down. So, um, my little tip, because we don't want to be so perfect and like so predictable, which is the issue, post an ugly picture from time to time. Okay. Like post a, like a little real, a little like pimply, yeah. like little something contrasting like the seamless or like the beauty queen that you can be. Show that like you're more than that and you're not afraid to be. This shows that you're confident and you're freaking real, okay? Freaking real mom. <laughs> it's hard to like let go and have people see that 
that side of you, I guess it's like, it's, it's not easy because not everybody's doing it, but that's exactly it. Like nobody is doing it. So if you're getting this, you're getting a really authentic, in our opinion, human, like a girl that can just be like, yo, like I'm just, I'm losing my shit today, breaking out. I don't know, like bloated. This is just where I'm at today. Like I'm just not vibing with it, not feeling it. And it is what it is. And if it's really hard for you to actually post like a fully natural raw photo, which I get because I have a hard time doing that sometimes depending on how I'm feeling. Yeah. Um, like I'll only post like a, like a natural face if I'm like have a good skin day or something, you know? Yeah, exactly. What I recommend and like what I think we both can agree on is less Photoshop, minimal editing, but own it. Like this is what guys are actually looking for. You know, they're sick of the yeah. fact. Eight girls. You don't even need, it doesn't even need to be like a selfie with no makeup. Um, we just mean like an Eden did one on her, her account and it was literally the best thing ever. Like brainstorming on a walk in joggers and sweats, like sunglasses were on and just like, I'm over this. Like I'm fucking talking to squirrels right now. Like this is life. And I, I literally on the other end was like, this is my best friend and I fucking love her. I was dying of laughter. I was like, I just, it's, it was so good. Yeah. It just, it makes you pause. It's very me. Like, you know, I, and I said to myself, like, I'm sick and tired of like being fake or like I used to fall into that when I was younger. And I posted me in sweatpants, like Simona said, no makeup, ugly face. Like if you really zoom into my face, and I was like, okay, but who's zooming in? Guys and girls. <laughs> Don't come for my best friend. Don't do that. Do not. So after you post an ugly picture, another thing that you can do, Simona, you're the queen of this. And I am learning to be like you when it comes to this. The funny captions, like... Because Instagram is just pictures, you get no personality from that. So I try to like do my best and either A, say something nice or B, funny because that just comes naturally to me. Not enough people are making me laugh on Instagram. And that brings me to like stories. You can create highlights if you want or just have stories. Videos are amazing at capturing the essence of who somebody really is in real time. Like for me, I don't post a lot but I post a lot of stories so like I'll post like either like something that I'm doing that's fun throughout the day or just me making a random funny video make fun of yourself too if you can make fun of yourself yeah. with a picture with a caption joke around be real like just be straight up that is the hottest sexiest coolest most real thing you could do on Instagram laughing at yourself it just shows such a carefree side of you that's not intimidating to other people and we're doing that with your blocked on instagram like we snap photos of like our faces throughout these sessions and we make them into funny memes you gotta be able to laugh at yourself like you just it's essential it's the best medicine mm -hmm. and you know sometimes i just like to laugh at myself on my own and i'm like i'm my biggest fan guys like <laughs> we actually were talking about how we wanted we wanted to start essentially like a challenge or like just to kind of get people inspired um, because laughing is great and you know make a joke if you're not comfortable doing that <laughs> with you by yourself like for yourself you can do that for us <laughs> you can literally just screenshot us throughout this this YouTube video and make a funny meme for us and then you know we'll we'll repost it and put it up on your blog I hope you guys learned something incredible from this girls guys look out like Take notes. I hope your, your notepad is filled with amazing tips. Hope you screenshotted our face throughout this. If not, go back and rewatch this. Hashtag views and take more photos of us. <laughs> Hashtag views. Thank you. Thank you guys. Comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Like. Yes. Like the video. Let us know. Give us feedback. Follow us on social and have fun with that challenge. We really do hope that you guys, you know, participate and we're like looking forward to it. Imagine it's like one person, it's my brother. <laughs> one person. It's gonna be, I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna pretend to be eight different people. It's fine. Okay, thank you. We'll see you guys for episode five. Next week. Bye. Next week's gonna be great. I'm so excited. Oh my God. Me too.